So types of current transformer every electrical engineer must know. So for easy understanding, I have categorized the different types into different different uh, uh, divisions. Uh, so here you can see first we will understand the types of current transformer based on the construction. So in this category, we will talk about all these types, right? Then moving on, we will talk about the types based on the insulation medium used, which has oil and SF6 type. Then we'll talk about the based on the design. Now this is specific to high and extra high voltage current transformer in which we'll talk about all these types. And then lastly, we'll talk about these special current transformers, right? So this is a really interesting video and I request you to watch it till the end. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav J. On this channel, I simplify electrical engineering. So if you are somebody who is interested in electrical engineering, then you must consider subscribing the channel because there is a lot of content which is going to be of a great value to you. So definitely do subscribe. Now let us start uh, with the type of current transformer based on the construction. So what you can see on your screen is a window type current transformer. Now this is most commonly used in low voltage and medium voltage switch gear. Now why it is called as window window type current transformer here because you can see there is a window provided here and from here you have to pass the conductor right and that is the reason why it is called as a window type current transformer. Now here you can see this type of current transformer do not have any dedicated primary winding so the conductor that is going to pass through it will be acting as a primary conductor or the primary winding it will only have the secondary winding here right this is the simplest type of construction of a current transformer which only has a uh, window now this window can be a square uh, can be a oval can be a, a circle depends on the uh, requirement here so here you can see a core that we have uh, this is the core the winding is getting installed this is a window type core basically a circle shape and this is how it looks when it is installed so we have a ct for r phase we have for y phase and for b phase window type current transformer and this bus bar or the conductor will act as a primary winding for this type of current transformer clear understood that is a window type current transformer that we have now moving on the next category is split core type now this is similar to the window type current transformer that we just discussed the only difference is that this uh, current transformer can split so you can see there are nut bolts provided here similarly the, from the other side also there will be nut bolts so you have to open this nut bolts and this current transformer will be splitted into two right and then you can place the conductor in and then again lock or the tighten the screw and nuts that we have here. Now the advantage of this type of uh, uh, current transformer is that let's say you have a conductor and that this you cannot remove right. In that case you can get this split type current transformer uh, open nut bolts put it like this and then screw it up right. So that is the difference and advantage when we compare it with the regular window type current transformer. Right, so that is the split core type current transformer. Then moving on, yeah, so this is how it will look. So it will open from this and then uh, at the conductor, you can place it in the conductor like this, right? Moving on, we have a bar primary type current transformer. Now this is again similar to the window type current transformer. The only difference is that uh, here we have placed a bar for primary winding permanently. So by default, it will come with this. So you have to connect the uh, conductor to this uh, bar type primary and then measure the current, right? But this CT is generally expensive when we compare it with the window type current transformer. So again, it depends upon the requirement. This type of CT is also most commonly seen in low voltage as well as in the medium voltage switch gear, right? Now, moving on to the fourth type that we have here is the wound type current transformer. Now, in this, what we are doing is here is the core that we have. To this core, we have laminated the secondary winding, which is of a very thin uh, wire and number of turns are more. And on the same core, we have also installed the primary winding, which is of a thick wire 
and a very small number of turns so it can be single turn two turn or three turn so in series with that we will be connecting the incoming uh, the wire or the conductor of which we need to measure the current now since we are wind wounding the primary on the secondary this is called as wound type current transformer understood so here you can see the picture of that now this particular ct can also act as a support for the conductor so let's say if you don't want to use a dedicated bushing you can use this current transformer uh, and place the conductor through it so it will also act as a support to the conductor and the current measurement or the protection will also taken place right so that is the wound type current transformer now very simple method to remember all these current transformer is to understand why the names are given so window city why the name is window city because there is a window inside bar primary why because there is a primary conductor placed permanently wound type why because it is the primary conductor is bound on the same core so once you understand the logic behind why the names are given you can easily remember the construction and all all the details about the current transformer right so this is the first category we talked about that is types based on the construction now moving on and let us talk about the types based on the insulation medium used now the current transformer that we discussed so far are generally seen in low and medium voltage switch gear wherein the voltage rating is quite low and you don't have to have a dedicated insulating medium for current transformers so all these current transformer what we discussed are basically crafted in epoxy resin and you don't need to have a dedicated insulation uh, for that but as we move towards the high and extra high voltage current transformers there the voltage rating is of course very high and we need dedicated insulating medium inside the current transformer and then this category comes into picture the first that we have and which is most commonly used is oil type current transformer so you can see example here this is uh, the example of high voltage current transformer this is the top tank wherein the secondary cores are placed and the conductor will pass like this so basically you can relate the construction similar to the bar primary so there will be a bar placed permanently inside the, the uh, top tank and you just have to connect the conductor to the terminal pads that are provided there right but in this tank there will be oil field for insulating purpose but the problem with this type of ct is that the oil is not very reliable and there have been a lot of incidences where the ct blasted inside the substation and this is not a very reliable type of uh, insulating medium but since it is cheap cost wise it is very widely used there is one more alternative we have here and that is the sf6 gas field current transformer now this is more reliable and secure when we compare it with the oil type current transformer so you can see image here again this will have uh, the cores inside this tank you see the terminal pads are coming out where the conductor is connected here and this tank will be having a secondary cores and it is filled with the sf6 gas for insulation purpose right so that is the types based on the insulating medium now moving on to the third category that we have which is specific to high and extra high voltage current transformer that is based on the design so what you can see is the hairpin type current transformer so you see we have a primary conductor passing like this it is going down and through the cores again coming up and then getting out so what you see right here in bottom tank are the secondary cores placed right and when the primary conductor flows through it it looks like a hairpin and that is the reason why it is called as hairpin type current transformer the advantage of this type of current transformer is that there is no additional load on the porcelain so all the load the load or the weight of the core are at the bottom tank right so that is the advantage that we have here but the problem with this type of uh, current transformer is that since the primary conductor is very long there are thermal issues with that so this type of ct again you will not find very uh, frequently used so there is one more alternative to this that we have and that is called as the top core type current transformer this is what you will see most commonly used in high and extra high voltage substations so what is the difference the difference is that here is the top tank we have and inside this top tank 
the course secondary course are placed so you can see these are all the course that we have and this is the primary bar which is placed permanently inside that core and here you have to connect the incoming cable right that is the difference but the uh, topic here is that when you use a top core design you need to have a very strong porcelain insulator or silicon insulator because there is a huge weight that this insulator has to carry because the secondary cores are heavy lot lot heavy so definitely this uh, porcelain insulator must be strong very strong but the topic of thermal issues what we discussed in the previous type is addressed here because the primary conductor is very short right so that is this uh, design that we have we have one more design that is the cascade design or the eye bolt design now this is a design which uh, in between the hairpin type and the top core type so this is in between so you can see the cores are placed at the center and this is how the primary conductor is going now when we compare uh, the thermal issues with the uh, hairpin type design this is having less thermal issues but when we compare it with the top core type uh, these are having bigger uh, or more thermal issues again this type of current transformer you won't find very frequently majorly you will find the top core type design right understood so these are the three type which is specific for high and extra high voltage current transformer and also for this type of cascade design you need to have a bigger insulators because the cores are placed in between of the in between the uh, insulator clear now moving on to our final category that is the special current transformer so what you can see on your screen is a handheld clamp type now you would have seen this uh, current transformer very frequently used so what you have to do is this is construction wise you can say this is somewhat similar to the split core because when you press this lever here this cores are getting splitted and then you can put it inside a conductor and then measure the current right mostly this is used as a portable current transformer uh, and this is not fixed permanently if you have to go and carry out portably something you can use this type but of course the current that you can measure must be limited here uh, because of the portability right so that is the handheld clamp type current transformer the next type that we have is a bushing current transformer so if you don't know what is bushing let's say you have a transformer a regular power transformer which is filled with oil and you have to now have an incoming cable inside that transformer so you can directly cannot connect the cable that is incoming definitely you have to have some medium to connect it so that there will be a proper termination there won't be any sparking and all other issues so for that purpose a bushing is used and what is special about this current transformer is that this current transformer is fitted directly inside the bushing so the center part what you can see here is basically a current transformer and the balance is the bushing the advantage is that if the cables are incoming you can simply use this bushing so it is uh, solving the purpose of having a bushing and a current transformer in one equipment but the problem is that uh, you cannot have too many cores inside this because of the size limitations so if you see this is the typical diagram this is the center portion where the cores are installed so it may have one core or two core but it cannot have more than that because of the uh, size limitations for smaller case when we go to high and extra high voltage of course uh, there is possibility having more cores as well right so that is the bushing current transformer a current transformer that is directly placed inside a bushing now moving on to the last type that we have that is lpct or low power current transformer now there is same type of vt as well lp vt low power voltage transformer put together they are called as low power instrument transformer this is the recent development uh, that we see and mostly seen in the high and extra high voltage gis type uh, switch gear now, there must be some solution available for medium voltage as well now this uh, type of current transformer or voltage transformer uses the principle of rogowski's coil uh, and which makes it very very compact when we compare it with the regular or the conventional current transformer and voltage transformer that we have this is very very compact so just to give you one quick comparison here you can see 
uh, on the right hand side here this is the uh, conventional pt this is the conventional ct that we use and with this the bay length you can see it is almost 5.5 meters but if you replace it with the lpits you can see this here so this can measure the voltage and this can also measure the current right so with this the length of the bay is only 3.7 meters so definitely uh, it is very very compact compared to the conventional ct and vts that we have right so that is the special type of current transformer that we have low power current transformer clear so just to quickly summarize the video what we talked about we first talked about the types of current transformer based on the construction so we talked about window type split core type bar primary type and wound type then we talked about the types of current transformer based on the insulation medium oil type and sf6 type then we talked about the current transformer based on the design which is specific to high and extra high voltage so hairpin type top coat type and the cascade type and then lastly we talked about the special current transformer which is this handheld clamp type bushing type and low power current transformer and by the way if you are interested in learning more about current transformer i have a custom playlist made for current transformer i'll provide link for that down in the description you can go and check it out so that is all about the types of current transformer if you found this video helpful then do like the video and do share it with the electrical engineers you know thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning